fun full day of navigating, practicing baby rhythms. Happy morning to you guys. I think I said happy morning because we are watching our friend's eight week old baby today and I can't wipe the smile off my face, I'm so excited. And we just put him down in the crib. Ah, it's so fun to have a baby in our crib and to imagine that someday soon we will have a baby in our crib more than just on one day a week. We are so excited. It's fun to just be in our home, be with our baby crib, and that there's, oh man, we're just excited. So, he just went down for a nap, and I'm going to do my best while he naps. This is good practice for figuring out what, it, what are new rhythms of life gonna look like. And maybe this is what it'll look like. Maybe when our baby goes down for a nap, maybe that's when I'll do my vest. Or maybe the sound of my vest will be... What is that sound? It's somebody doing yard work or something. Oh, yard work. It, it sounds like a small airplane keeps flying overhead. It might be a saw, actually. A saw? Yeah, I wonder if the sound of the vest will be really soothing and maybe our baby will just lay in like a bouncer next to me while we while I do my best or who well, knows. And you started coughing earlier oh. and he was laughing at her cough. He legitimately laughed at me after I coughed, which he's not like being rude. That's not rude. It's a baby. I think it was just like a big sound and he's just like <laughs> it was so cute. It was always like an honor for me when the kids I babysat got to an age where they started imitating my cough and the parents would be like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm like, no, I consider that an honor because they know me and they know my cough and they are trying to imitate me. I think that's sweet. Thankfully, I'm barely coughing ever anymore. So I guess the kids in my life don't know me and my cough very well, but Anyway, this sweet baby thought it was hilarious. The birthday boy in his birthday throne. Yesterday was his birthday. He's still wearing his birthday bandana. And Peter in his office working. Tell us about your outfit. Hmm. <laughs> you think this is an odd outfit? Like camo? Pants on the bottom, t-shirt, and a flannel shirt on top. I mean... This is like winter work attire. Awesome. <laughs> Sounds good. Hey guys, Mary is upstairs in the nursery. I think she is rocking the baby, living her best life. I'm going to try to plan out some dinner. See what we have in the freezer because we haven't really thought about grocery shopping since we got back from Thanksgiving and we ate all our Thanksgiving leftovers which was amazing. For lunch I had one of these acai bowls that we get the box of these at Sam's. I think it's like ten dollars for a box of four of them. So for two fifty each they're a good easy lunch when I'm working or life is busy that day so and those are nice to have on hand but i'm trying to think of dinner i think we have some do we have pool pork or we have shrimp that sounds pretty good let's see what other meat we have i thought that i saved some pulled pork but i'm not i'm not seeing Maybe I need to make some pulled pork. We do have a pork butt in here. That might be a good thing to do in the next few weeks. It's in the freezer, so I'd have to let it thaw for a few days in the fridge. We've got some steak in here. Maybe I'll get a steak out. We'll have a steak one day this week. 
I won't argue with that. So, maybe we'll do shrimp and what should we have with our shrimp? Do we have any potatoes? Yeah, we could do shrimp, potatoes, and do we have any freezer veggies? You guys are just like meal planning with me here for a moment. Looks like we have some frozen green beans. There it is. There you have it, folks. We'll make that for dinner. And Harry, what are you doing, man? What you up to? Well, it's been a very fun, full day of navigating, practicing baby rhythms, feeding the baby, putting the baby down for nap. It was so fun. It was so fun. We even had a meeting at our pastor's house, just Peter and myself and the pastor, and baby came with us. Baby was amazing. It was fun to just practice. And Peter is making us dinner. You made dinner told, out I, of the freezer, didn't you? I told you? them what I was making. So we've got the shrimp done and they look mighty good. Yes. And then in the oven, we've got the potatoes and green beans cooking. Amazing. Incredible. The best there ever was. Okay, here's what we got. I came in just a little bit ago from blowing the leaves in the yard. I think this, well, I didn't finish the back because it got pretty dark, but I'm on the final stretches because almost all of the leaves have fallen from the trees. And tomorrow we have a we have a yard waste uh, a yard waste bin that the city picks up. This is your most exciting thing of your adult life. Yes, this is the <laughs> this is totally adulting right here. I get I have an app from the city of Durham that alerts me whenever it's trash day, recycling day, or yard waste day. <laughs> it's very exciting things. And so tomorrow is yard waste day. And I was like, there are a lot of leaves in the yard. I need to go do this. And thankfully my neighbor came over and helped me bag all the leaves, which was a huge blessing. And so tomorrow maybe I'll finish up. Did you see it's gonna be like 70? No. In the coming days? We have some warm, warmish weather, but maybe tomorrow I'll. My, well, it got dark and my leaf blower ran out of gas, so I called it quits for the night. But I came in to find Mary and Harry chilling by the fire, and Ollie being his playful self. Someone asked me recently if Harry's wrinkly. Here's the answer. Look at all those wrinkles and rolls. <laughs> Cat. We have some remnants of Ollie's birthday up and now that we have this rocking chair on our first floor, which I will say I think our baby setup was working great today. Yes. We rocked our little friend we were babysitting today down here, Mary after one of his naps rocked him in the rocker in the nursery and he napped in our crib and it's so fun but i wanted to show you guys what we're thinking lately is this swing we're thinking now that we have a rocker down here maybe we'll put the swing elsewhere we talked about putting it on under this um covered part of our porch and I recently cleaned up this area. It was all plant stuff and all the things. So we could put it out on the covered part of the porch and we're talking about putting a little cabinet right here or some kind of something that will work as a changing table and put a changing table pad on top of it. Maybe one of the pieces of my Ethan Allen desk that I refinished that we have up on the third floor. We are using it as beds, like side tables up there, so I don't know. Maybe we'll try to find something on Facebook Marketplace. But then we can have kind of tucked in this little, it's kind of an odd corner in this living room area. And we can have a little diaper changing spot down here. Oh, you having a cup of coffee? 
Do you want to see my hat that my friend sent me? Are you having decaf or regular? Um, You're having I regular? I stay awake right now. <laughs> I spent all my energy on it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Okay, look. I love your hat. Mama. What? What moments today did you like enjoy the most? Probably like being at our meeting. Oh yeah. The three like, of us, meaning you, me, and the baby. Yeah, just like going and doing like our normal thing, but with a baby in tow. Is that is that also the saying in yeah. tow? Yeah. But also the fact that I thought I <laughs> <laughs> Mary totally lost track of time today. I thought I had all this time. I was like Babe, when there's a baby, you have to leave like 30 minutes ahead of time. I, um, so I had it in my head like, okay, 2 p.m., 2 p.m. But then my brain switched to his schedule like, okay, so he ate last at this time, so he'll probably want to eat around this time. We gotta warm the breast milk up. We gotta. So I was like calculating all of this stuff in my head and I completely lost track of time. <laughs> Peter comes up in the bedroom, he's like, Oh, how you guys doing? I'm like, we're good. <laughs> She's just rocking. She's like, we'll probably change this diaper and then we'll, <laughs> we'll um, whatever, get, and then we'll get in the car and go. And I'm thinking, I guess like she's just embracing this like baby thing where like the schedule schedule we'll get there when we get there. <laughs> but she uh, she didn't realize what time it My was. My brain literally just. The whole morning it was on like, we'll leave at 2 p.m. Right. For this meeting. To and it, then, he's probably going to eat around 2 p.m. To then, we were late. <laughs> Did we mention we hey, were late? Hey, we were only like eight minutes late. Really? Yeah. Pretty impressive. That is impressive. Ollie just pulled his bag out from our trip to Maryland. He just says, oh, pulled it in the hallway. Toys. So oh. I think he wanted a big bone or something. Oh, that's funny. I think, I think one of my favorite moments today was uh, putting the baby to sleep. You were good. It was fun. It, I'd like it felt like did that. What was it? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, we gotta keep watching our like course. Yes, video we're taking course. like this um, baby care course, mm -hmm. and um, and we we were like practicing the things we were learning. It worked. It was. It was. Yeah. Anyways, fun things, and it is just glimmers of the anticipation and excitement for our little one. It's so crazy. I was telling somebody yesterday at church this season of Advent. Advent's a word that um, in the church calendar to refer to the season, lead, the four weeks leading up to Christmas. And it's a like kind of a changing of pace in the church calendar where you kind of sit and reflecting on the meaning behind Jesus' coming. And that's what the word Advent means, is coming. And I was saying, it's especially meaningful this year, this season, as I reflect on, we have a child coming. And so sitting in the season of seeing the parallels of expecting a child and the season of Advent, and it's just super special and meaningful. Our neighbor gave us some parsimons. I had never, well, I had heard of them, but I didn't know what a parsimons was before, I think it was last year, our neighbor gave us some. And it's a southern fruit, right? If you've never had parsimons, I had no idea how to describe it, but I will show it to you. It's like this juicy, mm, I, would, I would describe it, this may not be accurate. Maybe if you know parsimons and know how to describe it better than me, you can put it in the comments, but I would describe it like a plum meets I don't even know how to describe it, but it's really good. It's really sweet. There's something it reminds me of, and I can't, I can't place 
what it is. And I don't know how you're supposed to eat them, but I'm just like destroying it. From this Christmassy staircase to you, wherever you are in the world, thanks for sitting with us in the joy of anticipation. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Good night, poodle. Good night, buddy. See you tomorrow.